name is Josh Jenkins. This is my FTE 211 week two uh, assignment. Today is March 20th, 2024. All right, uh, before we get started this week, we're going to clear this weapon like we always do. First thing we do is we're gonna point in a safe direction. We're going to drop the magazine, show that there's no ammo in there. We're going to rack the slide back, lock it in place, show that there's no ammo in there do a visual and physical inspection of the weapon. This weapon has been cleared. For part one of week two, uh, what we've got is we've been asked to take apart the weapon and we've been asked to give it this explosive view and we've been asked to also name six parts. So I've used random number generator and the first part we have is number two, which is the barrel bushing. Uh, the barrel bushing here is, sits, I'll show you this, it sits, like the name would suggest, on the barrel and it sits uh, in the slide here and it locks in and it keeps the barrel uh, snug and it keeps it from rattling around. It also helps with the feeding, chambering, and firing aspects of the cycle of operations because, again, when you put it in, it locks into place. It's got this little notch right here that keeps it there. All right, the second one we, uh, the second one, uh, on our list uh, for the random number generator is the plunger spring. So that's right here. And it's got a couple of plungers on it right there, but this plunger spring, uh, what it does is it sits uh, in on this portion of, it sits uh, right here, fits into um, this part of the frame right here. So the safety fits back here and then the mag catch sits right here. So this plunger creates pressure on both sides. It allows both the, the mag mag catch or the slide catch and then the safety to both fit in so this this is important for the safety aspect of the weapon specifically around keeping um keeping the safety uh where the safety needs to be when it needs to be safe and keeping the mag catch uh held up once it once the last round gets fired back it will lock it open so that's what the uh number 29 the plunger spring is is for for part number three, the random ge number generator says uh, 34, which is our recoil plug spring. So this right here, again, we're, we're kind of in that area right uh, back on the barrel. This sits down here in our recoil spring, which is for, which helps the slide uh, feed chamber and load uh, ammunition. Uh, it sits in there and it captures that and it keeps it from flying out. The barrel bushing, which is sits right here, is, I'll show you that right quick. So the barrel bushing that fits in right there, it will, let's spin that right real quick. It locks the plug, the bushing locks the plug and keeps the barrel, or the plug right here keeps the spring, the bushing locks the plug in place and it keeps the barrel and the spring in one spot to keep it all. And again, this helps with the feeding chamber, chambering and firing portions of uh, cycle operations. For the fourth piece, uh, for the fourth piece that we're looking at, it is number 41, which is the slide stop. So this is our slide stop. And like I was mentioning earlier with the plunger springs over here, this sits in here. Oh no, flip this over. This sits here in this piece right here. And it keeps the slide, it'll lock the slide back in place when you rack the slide. It keeps it from going back. One keeps it going back too far. And what it does is allows you to lock it open if you need to clear your weapon. And when you fire your last round, it locks it open like most design, like most modern uh, semi-automatics, it'll lock open on the last shot and keep that. So this sits uh, right here and that's important for uh, safety and it's important for the feeding and chambering portions of the cycle of operations. For our fifth piece, uh, the number that comes up is 33, which is again, up in this, up in this area, seem to be getting a lot up here in the slide. Uh, we have our guide rod right here. And again, this is important because what it does is it allows, so I'll show you. So you've got your barrel bushing up in here. You got your barrel that sits actually. So your guide rod sits right here on your barrel, right? And your, and your uh, spring right here. So it sits up on your barrel. And what it does is it keeps, it keeps your uh, pin up here. It keeps this pin uh, from uh, locking back down. And um, when it fires, when you rack it back and it fires, it keeps it uh, in place and keeps everything kind of lined up and uh, ready to fire. So this 
helps out again with the feeding chambering and firing portions of the cycle of operations. For the last one we have uh, is number 32, which is going to be our recoil spring, which is right here. And again, like I was explaining earlier, this fits in here and this allows for the slide to go back either to lock or fire. Uh, so this is part of the locking firing chambering uh, all of that up in the slide because the slide's kind of the area where all of the the port the magic happens when it's getting ready to fire so that's what the recoil spring is uh, for that all right now that we have this weapon back together what we're going to do is we're going to do a functions check in a cycle of operations uh, using snap caps like we've done uh, the last last few times so first thing we're going to do point in a safe direction we're going to load this weapon with snap caps we're going to point in a safe direction we're going to feed, chamber, and lock into place the round. That all happens in one motion. We're going to point in a safe direction. We're going to pull the trigger. It fires. With keeping our hand on the trigger, we're going to rack the slide back to simulate an ejection. Round comes out. Feed and chamber is the next one. Listen for the reset of the trigger. Trigger is being reset. Now we're going to fire and eject. Trigger resets, this, and then we're gonna fire one more time. We're gonna drop the magazine, just for safety. This weapon has been functions checked and reassembled correctly.